Hey guys, it's Valencia here with another video. Every year, millions of salmon leave the sea to swim up their natal rivers. Many of them cover great distance during their freshwater journey and almost all of them die of exhaustion after the spawning have commenced. But why do salmon swim upstream? Salmon enter flesh flowing freshwater system and swim up their natal rivers to find a suitable spawning location. The rivers running water and habitat provide both plenty of oxygen and shelter to the eggs and juvenile salmon which increases their rate of survival. Keep watching this video to find out why and how far salmon swim upstream if they can be caught while swimming upstream and why salmon jump in rivers. Why do salmon have to swim upstream? All salmon are born in rivers or streams and all of them return to the same rivers or stream they were born and to the give birth to a new generation of salmon. As they can locate the specific natal spawning grounds, they have to swim upstream to get there. As many salmon stock bred in fast river system that can span dozen or even hundred of miles. The journey upstream can be both very long and extremely demanding. According to studies, salmon use both the earth magnetic field and their highly developed sense of smell to first find the natal river and then their respective spawning ground. This amazing ability is evolution at its finest. The salmon never seem to swim up the wrong rivers and always know exactly how far upstream they have to go. Now you might ask, but why don't the salmon just lay their eggs close to the driver mount? It's a question I've asked myself many times. The answer is that driver mounts usually aren't suitable habitat for spawning as they can contain murky water with lower oxygen levels, a certain percentage of salt water, and are usually wide and open place that are perfect for predators. On the contrary, the fresh water of the upper river system that the salmon use to spawn in usually contains a lot of dissolved oxygen which is vital for both parents and eggs. The migration salmon need coal and well oxygenated water simply to able to make the entire journey upstream and once the eggs are laid or usually in gravel beds, their continuous survival heavily depends on their presence of oxygen in the water. Yet another reason for the salmon to swim high up the rivers is security, as mentioned above. The deeper and wider a stretch of river is, the easier it is for predators such as bigger fish and birds to access it. The river's tractors with gravel beds that salmon use to spawn in a usually extremely shallow, making it difficult or outright impossible for larger predators to reach. How far did the salmon swim upstream? Salmon can swim hundreds or even thousands of miles to get their spawning grounds. In fact, salmon have one of the longest migration patterns in the fish world. Atlantic salmon in particular often cover fast distance and their home rivers. It is suggested that some stock travel as far as 6,000 miles through the ocean before entering the freshwater territory. And it doesn't end there some Atlantic salmon stocks spawn in huge river systems that force them to swim up to 200 miles upstream before they finally arrive at their final destination. It's no wonder that they die of exhaustion after they don't spawn in it.
How long does it take salmon to swim upstream? On average, it takes salmon to three weeks to make their way upstream and reach their spawning ground. Of course, the amount of time highly depends on the river system the salmon migrate through. It can take more days if the fish encounter plenty obstacles on their way up and fewer days if the river current is below average. The length of the river and how far up the salmon spawning grounds are located also play a major role. In smaller streams, the salmon may reach their destination in only a couple of days. On the contrary, really largest river system of several hundred miles naturally imply a longer migration for the fish. For example, it takes an adult Chinook 19 to 20 days to swim from Bonneville Dam all the way up to the Idaho in average flow. That's about 280 rivers miles that the fish are covering in just under 3 weeks. Pretty fast if you ask me. How far can salmon swim upstream in one day? If we take the example above, and given that the conditions are optimal, a salmon can cover about 13 rivers miles per day. But once again, factors such as flow strength, river deep, and possible obstacles along the way must be taken into consideration here as well. In a river free obstacles, such as dams, sunken trees, big stone, etc., and with lower than average flow, a salmon might manage to swim 20 or more river miles upstream in one day. On the other hand, if there are plenty obstacles in the fish way and if the river is high and current extreme, it might only manage to cover 10 or even fewer miles per day. Do salmon eat while swimming upstream? During their way up rivers, salmon reduce their feeding activity to a bare minimum and instead focus all their attention on reaching those pounding grounds. If they eat while swimming upstream, it will only be sporadically and during very short periods. As they burn through most of their energy during the migration upstream and their body start to deteriorate, food is naturally not of much importance to them anymore as they are programmed to die after spawning. However, they do go for occasional fly on the surveys or some aquatic insect or crustaceans if the opportunity presents itself and it won't destroy to feast too much. Whether or not this due to actual hunger of mere habit or reflex is not certain, but as the next section will explain, the reflex theory is probably the most likely one. Can you catch salmon while they swim upstream? While not being in much of a fading mood, it is possible to catch salmon while they swim upstream in rivers. Many salmon are caught on dry and swimmer flies during the journey up the rivers. As the flies usually just pass them by fairly quickly due to the fast current, I don't believe they take them because they are hungry. Instead, it's more a reflex link to their predatory instinct. If they see an insect or fly passing by, they will simply open their mouths and inhale it, mostly out of their habits, at least in theory. And while this doesn't seem to be biggest of challenge for an angler, it is just that, because most of the time, the theory doesn't hold up. What happened 9 times of 10, and I'm talking from personal experience here, it's that the salmon will actually not go for your fly and simply ignore it. 
Or maybe you just pass by way too fast, so the salmon doesn't even have time to notice it. Either way, if you manage to actually catch a migration salmon on your fly, you can consider yourself a very skilled and lucky first man. Trust me, it can be extremely frustrating to fish a river that full of salmon and virtually none of them show any interest whatsoever in that fly of yours. Until one finally does the fight of a lifetime is on. Why the Salmon Jam in Rivers? Salmon often jump in rivers to get over obstacles that will otherwise prevent them from continuing the journey upstream. Common obstacles and barriers include dams, waterfalls, and culverts. Other obstacles that salmon may have to jump over include sunken trees, floating logs, and simply rapids. How high can salmon jump? Atlantic salmon are true to be the salmon species that can jump the highest. Records show that, on average, salmon can reach a height of 4 feet when jumping over lower obstacles and an incredible maximum height of 12 feet when jumping over higher berries such as dams. Almost nothing can stop a migration salmon from reaching its spawning destination. How high salmon can jump out of the water depends on the water dips as the fish tend to dive down to get more momentum for their leap. So, quite naturally, the deeper the water and the salmon dive, the higher their jumps will be. So, that's our Why do Salmon Swim Upstream videos. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion for future videos, or question you have as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our Balenciaga family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. So until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.